I would definitely say transformative, inspirational, and adventurous. We developed a needs assessment and went throughout the six parishes within Coral Sub County um, looking at the needs of the people in regards to community health, family health, HIV, AIDS, and malaria education and training. And so we really wanted to have um, these intimate focus group sessions with their local leaders and um, really look at what do they think they need, what do they want, and um, try to give them some tools and some education to empower them to develop themselves. So today, the information that I share with you is not just for you only, it's also for your family, your children, where you share people, members in your church and other members of the community so that you will all be empowered as a community and as a people so that you all live long and healthy. <laughs> Well, I was I was um, assessing some needs and giving some education about malaria prevention and treatment. So, like, why it is important to take full doses of malaria pills? Why it is important to take care, take care of your kids and take take them um, to the doctor or health center? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I would like to know how many people have mosquito nets in their house? My living situation was quite interesting. Um, we were a team of four people. I was the only male, and we stayed in a three bedroom apartment. Um, I had my own room. Um, but it was it was fun. We pretty had we had our furniture, we had our speakers and music. The things that I can learn abroad is so different from what I can learn back in the States. Mm -hmm. And like those opportunities out there, they're available, were so, um, like gave me a different like sight, I guess, like different perspectives. Um, so which I really appreciate and I, I started to see those values of, you know, like going abroad and to be, to interact with these people, to learn about the cultures. Um. So you said it's a violation of the human rights of, of how people are going to be displaced out of their homes. But um, we would like to say that the country as of now, it is under the, under the poverty line. There are so many people who are not employed and we are, as a country, we're at the bottom of the World Development Index. And it is a clear violation of human rights to leave our nation under the develop under the development. And we here have this opp great opportunity to um, open up the gate. As we the, the middle class, uh, I wanna thanks the Vipers for uh, company because for us we have lived in this land for so long, and we wanna see progress. Three new words. Um, well, itimabe is, means how are you, and then I say atimabe, <laughs> which means I'm fine, and um, thank you very much is apoyomatek, which we had to say a lot because we didn't know anything else to say, <laughs> um, and ninyanya um, is, uh, what's your name? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, the needs assessment um, went um, within Coral Sub County, which is comprised of six parishes and 27 villages. Uh, we surveyed over 1,200 um, people um, with their community health, family health, HIV, AIDS, and malaria. And the baseline that we constructed, um, we had these community meetings 
which was led by their parish chief, local counselors, and ourselves. And we looked at um, various issues that they may have, and we basically asked them, what do you all know, and what are your needs? So further um, implementation and programming can be done. And these are just a couple of pictures of our community meetings. We basically met at some of the meetings were inside the old IDP camps where many people are still living because they still don't feel quite safe to return to the villages and um, are under a bush outside on their tree. So it was like very intense. So some of the major results, we're still um, coming in our final report, um, but these are some quick snapshots, some numbers to show you 91.3% of the people lack mosquito nets. Of course, now that um, starting this week, Tam Tam and the young leaders are going out and distributing nets, so that number will be reduced drastically. 85.7% um, of people reported not having a condom in the household, and um, that was one of the um, things we looked at as far as prevention and um, with HIV AIDS. And another study done by the district actually looked at well, do they know um, how to use a condom or where to go for a condom? And overwhelming three-fourths of the population knew about a condom and knew how to use it, so it's not necessarily the lack of knowledge. So there's some other um, avenues that need to be looked at. I really didn't know that the people would be so kind and so receptive. And that really um, was really humbling for me, and I was really honored how everyone um, greeted me and wanted to learn about me and about my um, country.